then did that's with me. I'm with the Justice Minister, the Minister Allah Mola, who's going to just speak to us uh, with regards to what this day uh, uh, means. Thank you so much for your time, Minister. Um, the first question. Uh, talk to us about the importance of, you know, continuing celebrating this day when some South Africans say that there's nothing to celebrate. Yeah, it is a very important day, given the history of our country. And also, we also have to use it to reflect on the um, failures and achievements uh, of the past, um, including to reflect on how we go forward. Indeed, there are challenges. Um, with the situation in KZN, the July riots, the COVID-19 situation, unemployment and poverty. But there is a platform to engage, as you'll hear from the speech of the President, what are programs that government is, government is putting in place to respond to the issues of unemployment, to respond to the issues of poverty, and to the various challenges that society is facing. I mean, talking about the July unrest, Minister, um, you must be worried as government that 28 years on you find people reacting like that to a democratic government. I mean, in 1994, we saw a huge number of people excited to vote. Uh, throughout the years, the number has been going down. Uh, like you said, in July, people hit the street, raising their frustration. Yeah, obviously, it was a culmination of a number of issues. Unemployment, the economic uh, difficulties that was also caused by the COVID-19 situation, even the fact that the economy that is in decline, which has led to a number of people losing employment. And that is why government will have to respond to that. And I think the speech of the president will speak to a number of issues, including the issues of economic recovery that relates to us helping the economy to be able to go back to where it was before COVID-19 and be able to grow in a manner that will all enable it to create jobs and also resolving some of the challenges that um, are happening across the country on service delivery, the electricity situation that needs to enable the economy to function. Your views to people that regard government as just being rhetoric, always saying what's right, but when it comes to implementation, uh, comes, there seems to be a problem. Last year, uh, last year there were elections. Uh, we saw uh, a lot of ANC, which, are, which is the governing party, going all out, saying that put us in power, we will deal with service delivery. A couple of months, a lot of people are complaining that, you know what, uh, it looks like the promises are there, we are told about these plans, but when it comes to implementation, it becomes an issue. Yeah, there is, and hence we speak about the district development model. It's aimed to resolve uh, some of the bottlenecks that um, are affecting service delivery at local government level. And there is work that is already happening in the various municipalities across the country to respond to the, directly to the issues of service delivery. And as you are aware, even the governing party has got a monitoring tool that they are looking into uh, to be able to respond timelessly on some of the issues that um, are happening uh, in terms of uh, service delivery at the local government level with the collaboration with national government and the provincial government. Your message to young people who are disgruntled, who saying there's nothing to celebrate, looking at what they go through in their daily lives? Yeah, is that um, they must not uh, give up. Um, it is the future of the country is in their hands. They need to continue to acquire the necessary skills that will enable them to participate in the economy and also do some of the jobs that um, are usually they uh, mostly don't usually like to do them, like uh, plumbing, like um, artisans, um, some of the jobs that the economy needs, uh, welding, and um, not all of us wanting to to only go to university. So young people still have a space where they can still be able to be self-employed and some of these um, skills that are dearly needed in the economy, but they don't really look cool in their eyes. I think that is what also young people also need to really consider. Thank you so much, Minister. There you go, Desi, Minister of Justice, uh, they say that young people should not give up. Uh, young people are the future, and they should grab each and every opportunity that comes their way, saying that there are as much as there are challenges, but there are still opportunities. Also say that it's quite important to always you know, reflect on the history uh, and the present uh, as a country, as you know, a lot of people.
uh, like you said earlier, you know, gave their lives to ensure that the country is where it's at now. Desiree? Of course, he'll continue to bring us events uh, as we await that uh, address by State President Cyril Ramaphosa.